everyone, this is Dennis from Eastcom Wireless, back with another tech tip, tech tip today for you. Today we're going to discuss your Android smartphone and firmware. Uh, this may date this post just a little bit, but this comes on the heels of the news that the HTC Resound uh, was once, actually only last November, Verizon's flagship 4G LTE phone, uh, is finally getting upgraded to Android 4.0, or what they call ice cream sandwich. Uh, it's going to be upgraded to 4.03. You're going to receive HTC Sense 3.6, and on, I think, three or four occasions, it was announced and leaked and released that they were going to upgrade the device, and it never happened. And today, it looks like the rumor mill has finally gotten it right. Uh, today, July the 30th, by the end of the day today, Verizon Wireless should start rolling out ice cream sandwich to the HTC Resound. Uh, however, if you are an impatient person like me, today I'm going to show you how to go into the phone and download that firmware yourself so you don't wait until they finally decide to send it to your particular device. Uh, for those out there that might not be familiar with the term firmware, firmware is internal software in every device that governs everything from the way it makes phone calls, um, the way the user interface, the graphical user interface, the way you use the phone, to the way it handles the internet, email, messaging, everything the phone does is done with instructions given it by its firmware or internal software. Firmware does two things. When a phone gets released, as time goes by, the tech community and the average consumer will find bugs or they'll uh, have new features that they would like added to the phone. And one of the things that firmware updates do is they will be bug fixes. And they'll, they'll, they'll deal with uh, features that people have not been able to use properly when the phone was first released. But the more fun part of that is when they release major firmware updates, they usually involve enhancements. Enhancements in the graphical user interface, the buttons and the look and the feel of the phone. And in, they'll usually add some new features to things like the camera, to the messaging, uh, internet speeds, anything can be enhanced. And basically what's going on is Android a little while back released Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0, which was a, an update to uh, what, every, what a lot of phones still use is Android 2.3.4. It's going to be similar to that, but they've really streamlined, supposedly they've really streamlined the user experience. So people who have owned Resounds uh, have been really looking forward to that update, and uh, I'm going to show you how to get it, because if you're impatient like me, you don't want to wait. So basically, the first thing you're going to want to do is, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is zoom this camera in so that you can see more clearly what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the ring on your lock screen, unlock your resound, and look on the very bottom of the phone, you'll see your menu button. Hit menu, and you're going to see your basic, um, your basic menu for your phone pops up with applications, notifications, personalization, wallpaper, you can edit the order of uh, programs in your home screen, etc. But here is your main settings button, we're going to hit that. And basically, this is going to be the main menu of everything you could possibly manipulate on your smartphone. You're going to want to scroll to the bottom, and you'll see uh, a couple of different things. You can go to About Phone, and let's just do that first. I want to show you what that looks like. And basically, it's going to tell you the status of a lot of different things on your phone, the, the network it's on, the phone identity, the battery, hardware version, software information, and that's what we're going to want to look at right now. If you click on software inter information, you're going to see that, let's just see, this is running Android version, like I said, 2.3.4, and it's running HTC Sense version 3.5, both soon to be upgraded. Yay! So what we'll do is we'll back out of this, take one step back with the back button, on your phone and let's just take two steps back right above about phone you're gonna see software update and here's where it gets fun because it would be really neat if right now all of a sudden I just got Android 4.0 and I can show you but I know I won't get quite that lucky but anyway hit software update and at the top you'll see status and check now we've already seen the status because I took you took you through uh, seeing what you have so we're gonna click on check now you're going to notice at the top, 
it drops off your Wi-Fi and checks via the cell phone network. In the building here, we have we have uh, good 4G coverage, which is great for this purpose. And basically, it downloads the software via their cell network, not over Wi-Fi. Why that is, I'm not sure. If somebody knows and they want to comment below, that's just great. But basically, what we're going to look at, and we're going to see that it checked to see whether there was any new software. Um, it didn't find any. So basically, you just hit finish, and you can simply hit the home button to go back to your home screen. And I will be doing that probably two, three, four times today, and you on your cell phone, uh, when you're waiting for new firmware updates to come out and you want to see what new features are going to be added, you can simply check online, and when, you're, when the about, update is about to come out, you can just start doing what I do, just go into your menu like I just showed you, and you can just keep trying all day, and maybe you can be one of the first to get a firmware update for your new device. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope that these videos are useful to you. Please come in and see us at our Doylestown, Jamison, New Hope, or Newtown locations. You can also visit us at www.eastcomwireless.com. Uh, you can visit our Facebook page, Facebook www.facebook.com slash eastcomwireless or tweet us. Please feel free to join the discussion. Tell us what types of videos you like to would like to see in the future and we will do them. Um, thank you very much and I'll uh, see you next time.